Good morning. Welcome back to Took A Sense. Uh, I'm Ben. It's Sunday. It's been a really long time since I've done a Sunday sample, um, but I'm working at home today, so um, I can wear whatever comes out of this box. So let's go. <laughs> So if you've not seen my Sunday sample videos before, um, basically I, I, this is just chock full of samples, stick my hand in, pull something out, whatever comes out, I give you my first impressions and then I wear it for the day and, and come back and give you like my kind of longer impressions about how it develops and, and also I'll go through like the real notes and stuff because I, I don't know what I'm going to put out here. Sometimes I put out perfumes that I, I am aware of, other times I put out perfumes that I have no idea of so let's let's go um, see what see what's in here uh, that one that's the one that's coming oh okay um, I don't know this house very well uh, I know it's Kieran 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 Nitro Noir they're, they're, they're coming like small white bottles with this a kind of pop art sort of print on the front. Um, kind of, I, I, I don't know where you, quite sort of high street niche, maybe? High street niche, is that a brand? Is that, is that a genre? Uh, but but it, uh, kind of that sort of vibe I feel, I think. Um, I, I don't know Nitro Noir, this one. I, I don't know what it is. Um, so let's give it a go see what comes out um, right oh heavy patchouli heavy patchouli so let it settle down a second it's a bit smelling a bit sort of alcoholic but heavy patchouli even sort of you know you sometimes first spray a perfume and it's got that kind of alcohol smell the patchouli was still kind of outrunning that um, Heavy, heavy patchouli, sour, um, quite sour patchouli, uh, almost um, really dry. Uh, uh, so you've got this quite like absolutely nothing sweet about it. Um, dry, heavy, dark patchouli. Um, I'd say it's a bit sort of spiciness in there, and um, it feels like an a really, really, really rooty iris. Um, almost like wood. It, it almost feels like a super dry cedar. Um, but it's got that kind of rooty, earthy iris feel to it, like oris root um, kind of feel to it. But it also feels like cedar, so I'm not sure if it's sort of a mix of both, like like cedar and orris root um, in the base there. But it's really dry. Uh, oh, I'm not sure I like this. It's it's the the, the, the patchouli is is like that that got that kind of milky sourness to it, like that green milky sour sort of patchouli um, it's not like a head shop patchouli uh, or like a hippie patchouli it, it's really um, sort of fresh cut green sour patchouli um, with that kind of super dry cedar and iris um, that that like a peppery vibe in there and it also feels like a tonka or something there's like a creaminess um, I, I wouldn't say it's vanilla I would say it feels more like something like a, a tonka or, or like a very diluted or, or heavily sort of watered down like like low concentration cormorin or something so it's sort of got that creamy sort of quite like 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 uh, like lactonic kind of is it lactonic uh, sort of milky sort of creaminess um, and, it, and that that is weird because you've got the sourness from the patchouli and I think that's what's kind of it's not turning my stomach but I'm not finding that pleasant um, because 
individually it's okay the patchouli's all right like i don't i i, I like patchouli and and this is a big patchouli um and that's fine and and the, the iris I, now i love iris i love oris root and i love really rooty orises so i'm good with that um and and the creaminess i think would be okay as well um but it's when you mix like that creaminess with that patchouli and you get this kind of like sour milk smell because you're getting this kind of creaminess with that kind of green sourness from the patchouli and then that, that dryness from that cedar and orris there's definitely like a cedar and orris in here um, it's, it's a little bit stomach turning I'm not a massive fan I've got to be honest of first impression I hope it gets better um, I'll, I'll come back and, and I'll find the notes out and we'll talk about it a little bit more Nitro Noir by Kieran I'll yeah I'll wear it for the rest of the day and um, we'll see how it goes that that's pretty much it though it feels quite um, minimal um, it, it's definitely like patchouli iris cedar that's about it really and, and there's some sort of creaminess in there as well and a little bit of pepper um, but I feel like that's probably it unless it unless it kind of develops um, and some more florals come out or something like that but but, but that feels quite it feels quite bare it feels very woody um, sort of overall like the patchouli is a little bit woody that oris is so dry that it feels very woody and it, it's got a bit of a cedar vibe to it so it's, it's a very sort of dry woody iris and patchouli um, but yeah, I'll, I'll hopefully come back. It actually is getting slightly less sour now, so hopefully it's going to develop. I would really like, fingers crossed, that that iris is going to come out a bit more and that patchouli is going to sit back a bit and, and this could go places. If it doesn't, it's going to be gross otherwise. But yeah, I'll come back and we'll talk about it later. I'll say I'll find out the proper note listing and, and we'll talk about it. It's a nice one. See you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back. I've been wearing... Kieran Nitro Noir all day. What do I think? Um, what do I think? It's okay. It has a well, okay. So when I sprayed it, start again. So the actual note listing for, for this is, is really simple. Um, it, it's just lime, pink pepper, patchouli, and orris. That's it, apparently. It has some cedar in there for sure, um, like strong cedar. So there's there's a bit more going on than that. I'd say there's some like kind of like out here berries in there as well. Um, but what do I think? So, so you know, most of that I smelt when I first sprayed it. It was quite obvious, um, and it was quite quite bold. I, I hoped that the orris would develop, and it and it did, um, but. Unfortunately, like at the same time, it it, it developed with a, a really strong kind of um, like amber fix and broxen kind of laundry detergent white musk kind of vibe, just relentlessly laundry detergent or or kind of shampoo or shower gel kind of clean at like aroma chemical vibe that, that just came with it um, and it was pretty trashed here at that point I was ready to write it off it wasn't attractive it, it didn't smell nice it didn't smell complex it didn't smell expensive it smelled trash pretty much um, but that did die down and it, and it hit like a third stage which I would say is where it's at now which is kind of like its final dry down which is just cedar and orris really um, and it's okay personally I wouldn't pay for this um, and I, I wouldn't wear it again um, I think it's really weird this brand seems to think that they're like edgy somehow and like all of their branding is like oh yeah kind of with kind of m mixing things up B being a bit punk or something but like they're really not to be honest like the iris was quite interesting because it was that really rooty iris it wasn't powdery at all it was that waxy rooty earthy iris and when you first spray it you get that kind of like dark green patchouli that 
over the top dry cedar and that really kind of rooty earthy iris like orris root kind of vibe and, and you're thinking like yeah this is not nice i thought it was disgusting actually um but it was quite you know that that could just be personal taste and you think this is you know okay this is pretty out there um and, and then it starts to dry down and it gets that kind of weird sweet creamy sweet and sour off milk kind of vibe that, that kind of moves into a, a gross kind of say like amber fix a broxen kind of boringness really just just really unoriginal um because you know like that that's so overused and and it it's fallen down the same trap that you can use Ambrox and an Ambrofix and stuff in all sorts of perfume and all sorts of perfume I'm sure no doubt uses it it's it's a really common aroma chemical and it's a really useful aroma chemical as well like I don't really have anything against it but the trap is when these companies use it in really high sort of percentages in their in their formulas and 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 then that it, it pervades everything else it is more than everything else um, and, and that just made it unattractive um, the way it, it sort of mixed with the iris because the iris was coming up good and I was liking it I was enjoying it for about half an hour um, and, and then that happened and then I hated it for about two hours and then now I'm kind of okay with it um, because it's it's really just like a, a, a quite fresh cedar um, because it's got a little bit of that ambrox and still going and um, that's keeping it kind of smell like laundry and clean um, with a bit of sort of white musk and um, iris um, and, and the cedar is keeping it a little bit woody and it's still got that kind of sort of overtly dry cedar which actually I quite enjoy I, I think it's quite nice it's got it's quite an industrial edge um, but as a whole it's just not attractive it just doesn't smell very good I, I saw some reviews I looked around and, and they really rate this and I'd have to say no like it, it's it's not good it is it just I just think people have got like low expectations of stuff or or they just you know poor taste like it's just because it's just not very good it's just not very nice it's just it doesn't have an attractive scent profile overall, I don't think. Um, it, it, it ups and downs, and it, and it, but even at its highest points, it, it's below average. Um, you know, the only real good thing I can say for it is, you know, I've not been still today. I've been like sort of working at home, but I cleaned my fish tank and I did some other bits. So I've been washing my hands a lot, getting them in the shower a lot, you know, um, and you know it's still there so you know it's relentless if nothing else but it's i don't really think it's very good at all in fact um i, I it's like i say would i buy it no absolutely not would i even wear it again no am i going to wear this sample again no um it's not even challenging it's just unattractive see that's the thing if it was sort of unattractive in that quite challenging interesting artistic way you can kind of go like mm, yeah okay like this is doing something at least it's doing something right but it wasn't like i say it was it had that ambroxan junk in there and that that milky kind of sweetness that was just sort of stomach churning really um i say like individually the iris was was, was nice it had like some ups there um, the cedar, it, like a real painfully industrial cedar, that had some ups. But just as a whole, generally, the scent profile, it's just not up to much cop, really. Like, if you spent your whole life wearing, I suppose, something like Sauvage, you might find this edgy and interesting, and you might even find it attractive. But if that's the case, I would say, go try something like, you know, from Comme de Garçon, which is probably going to be far better. Um, and it's still going to have that kind of disruptive, edgy vibe. Um, that you, maybe that if that's what you're after, that Comme de Garçon will do it be better, frankly. Yeah, no, I just didn't think it was very good. So that's Near Trois Noir by Kieran. I, I, not really attractive. Fingers crossed for next week, eh? Cheers.